Okay, the camera cut off, I don't know why, but whatever, let's continue. About a, a, a seventh through that article, up here in the description, way up here, yes, up, upper right corner, way at the bottom of the, more, click more description, read the article at the bottom, about a seventh through it, it reads this. So Ash sets out again in search for more of the reclusive, power-filled little Pokemon. His first step is to find the psychic Pokemon called Kadabra and snatch it from its telepathic, pink-eyed trainer, Sabrina. With the ghost haunter on his side, it should be a cinch. Alright. If you're a Pokemon trainer, I should say, played the Pokemon games, you know that this right here is total bull. They did not watch the show. They did not uh, play the games. They did not research the Pokemon. They're just going by what other people are telling them. It, j just read this part right here. His first step is to find the psychic Pokemon called Kadabra and snatch it from its telepathic pink eye trainer Sabrina. The number one rule in Pokemon is do not steal Pokemon from other trainers. That has dep been depicted through the criminal gang organization called Team Rocket back in the day. Now you got Team Magma, Team Aqua, whatever, you know. But back in the day it was Team Rocket. And they snatched Pokemon and it was considered absolutely awful because Pokemon are considered uh, complete and total allies and friends to the trainers or people that have a Pokemon by their side. So right there is completely wrong because you don't snatch Pokemon from other trainers. So Ash was not going to snatch Kadabra from Sabrina. The next thing is pink-eyed trainer Sabrina. They're, that's saying that they didn't watch the anime again because Sabrina in the anime did not have pink eyes. They were blue. In the Game Boy games, the artist's depiction of her, like if you would see, look for a picture of her she does indeed have like pinkish red eyes, but in the anime they were blue, so they did not watch that episode. Once again, they are stupid. <laughs> Okay, let's continue on. But Ash has underestimated the power of his opponent. When he and Sabrina meet for the battle, both hurl their chosen Pokemon into the air. But only Kadabra evolves into a super monster with a magic flash. Haunter hides. Looks like your ghost Pokemon got spooked, taunts Sabrina. Okay, let's start here. When he and Sabrina meet for the, ba for the battle, both hurl their chosen Pokemon in the air. Wait, wait, wait. They hurl their chosen Pokemon in the air. They hurl their Pokeballs into the air, and Pokemon come out of them gently. They don't hurl the Pokemon into the air. <laughs> but okay, now, but only Kadabra evolves into a super monster with a magic flash. Kadabra did not evolve. Abra evolved into Kadabra. So they got their Pokemon mixed up, which, which once again, they did not watch the episode. <laughs> Come on, people. Watch the episode before you make crazy assumptions about it. Or I should say, do anything before you make crazy assumptions about it. Okay, now they're saying Haunter hides. Uh, Haunter does kind of hide, but it's not hiding because it's scared. It's hiding because it's a mischievous Pokemon. Which says right here, looks like your Pokemon got spooked, taunts Sabrina. Yeah, but they're saying, like, ha Haunter hide, just plain old hidden. But it didn't. <laughs> It was surprising Sabrina later to make uh, jokes for her, make her laugh. And, okay, final part. Obviously, Ash did not understand the supernatural powers he had confronted. Neither do most young Pokemon fans today. Unless they know God and his warnings, they cannot understand the forces that have captivated children around the world. Okay, what? read this right here. Unless they know God and his warnings, they cannot understand the forces that have captivated children around the world. Now, they're saying that Pokemon is Satanism or an occult, you know, like, like that, like some sort of other religion that is completely against God. Now, what they're saying here is, unless they know God and his warnings, that's just like basically saying right there... <laughs> That if you are with anything else but God, you are a Satanist or an occultist. <laughs> so, yeah, as you can plainly tell by now, this article is completely hilarious and completely untrue. So, have fun reading this article. I know you're going to love it. Because there's a lot more to it, as I said right up here, that's only a, a seven through the entire article. 
that I'm showing right there. Now, these uh, people that have God in their lives, they can say all they want to me that because I've been playing Pokemon since I've been 9, I'm 20 now, you know, it's been 11 years that I'm, I'm completely brainwashed or I'm now a, a Satanist or in an occult because I like Pokemon. But if they actually played the games or watched the anime, they would know that if anything, Pokemon encourages people to be nice to animals, to people. You know, it, it doesn't set a bad example for kids, even though that this article right here is saying so. <laughs> it, it's just so hilariously bad that it is so that it is completely worth a read. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I most certainly didn't enjoy making it. This came on a little longer than expected, but whatever, it was fun. I know you guys will like it, especially Pokemon fans. Uh, so I guess I will see you guys later. Enjoy the reading material I have given you.